A 15-year-old girl of Kanyama compound has allegedly been defiled by a 17-year-old boy of the same area. And the family of the girl want nothing but total support from the 17-year-old boy who has allegedly defiled their daughter. Isa jamia ni tifuna, ni kukambisa na nkani pari uyu mtu. Uja mwana wao, tikambisa ni tinkari pansi, tikambisa ni kai kutinkani ya miemba isi. Nangatiza msunga buwanji mtu hali pitate waki. The girl who has been impregnated is calling for justice to prevail on the matter as she claims that the mother of the boy only identified as Alan does not want anything to do with her. I want to support her, support her. But when contacted, Alan could not be reached as his mobile phone was switched off. Meanwhile, a community non-government organization NGO called the Consensus and for Justice and Human Rights is saddened over the escalating cases of defilement in compounds that are not trialed by the courts of law. Organization Director of Operations Frederick Liteta stated that government has to set up fast-track courts to handle many critical problems in the compounds. Our cry as um, a non-governmental organization, we are asking for the government to come up with the fast-track courts. I can see RDA coming up with the fast track courts. Why can't they find such court, such courts for such issues so that uh, such cases are brought to book easily and uh, people face the wrath of the law? Mr. Litator's views have been backed by women of the same area. And, and our first read to look on these cases, mostly in compounds, there are so many GBV cases and uh, wife battering, <laughs> child girl development. So, we are asking for the first lady to maybe she can do something in compounds. This case is among the many that have taken center stage in the communities and many have gone unreported. It is only vital that NGOs and parents take time to educate their children against the early indulgence in sexual activities and the danger of defilement. Grace Makwane Lubinda, Movie TV News, in Lusaka.